and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Plunder Control. This was a really impressive donation deck we played about a week ago or so where this deck is kind of like Twisted Fate Ezreal, right? But Gangplank is just kind of better than Ezreal. At least that's how it plays. Really liked how this card played with the, you know, being a 5-5. It was huge. If we get it to level up, like that level up is awesome. Um, yeah, really liked this card over Ezreal in this kind of deck. So, um, so there we go. So that's that's what we got. You know, it's our our control deck with PNZ and Bilgewater, playing a lot of of uh, powder kegs and using our powder kegs to team up with our damage spells to kill stuff, and then Riptide Rex at the top end. You know, three Riptide Rex. That's going to be our main way of. Uh, really pulling ahead and doing well against a lot of decks. I need to update our decklist command because I realize I forgot to do that. So sorry y'all, I'm gonna go over there and do that, but Mobilytics is acting slow. Um, playing against an aggro deck with Draven Lucian, we'll mulligan the warning shot, keep the rest of these. Get some good early removal. Okay, it's trying to load. Here we go, plunder control. No, Vinny, I am not. All right, Draven Lucian. We have played against slow opponents today. Just so difficult to decide whether or not to play the one mana card in their hand. Nope, not playing it. Now, what should we do for the turn two? No, I'm not. Original Mars. Sometimes this is, this is like, you know, being a streamer, sometimes this is people, like, logging on the stream and, like, waiting for the, you know, like, the delay and stuff like that. I'm not saying that that's what it is, but I'm just saying sometimes that happens. And that's not, that's not anything, like, I'm really mad at. Like, that's, that's nothing to do, nothing to do about that, but... You can kind of tell sometimes, like when it happens early, and then and then suddenly they're playing it quickly and stuff like that. I can't do anything about people joining. It's just just the price of being a streamer. It's gonna happen. I don't know if that's what this is or what. Red card does make my Mega Rain and stuff better. I should be just doing Make It Rain here this turn. Okay. Glad I didn't. Yeah, suddenly it's just like such tenacity with the attacking. Right, that doesn't trade. Sure. Maybe just keep Twisted Fate out here. Dang. <clears throat> Wish I would have uh, blocked with the just being able to play replay a new Twisted Fate. Go gold card.
It is unfortunate. The, the rhythm of it and everything. Frustrating, but... Um, I wish I would have blocked with that twisted fate. Hey, Push. Thank you so much. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. That'll get us... You know, that's going to be six out of five today. That means I'm going to just, like, tomorrow tack on an extra one. Yeah, those Rangers resolves were quite good. Perfect against Make It Rain. Uh, you know, not really the best time to draw Riptide Rex early on against the aggro deck when you're trying to stabilize, nor Salvage, because you don't really have the time to cast Salvage either. Turn three, I could have cast Salvage. Another aggro deck just like that. Maybe I should have turn three. But Ranger's Resolve was the perfect answer to my make it rain. Why the O2 would attack? Unless they're just gonna do that and nothing else. Good chance I'm going Twist of Fate blue card. But we'll see. If they um, are if they kill my powder keg and keep their 4-3 alive, then we'll probably just have Twist of Fate clean it up. But maybe not. Maybe I should just be playing... Hmm. Maybe I should wait on Twist of Fate. We'll see. So now the Mega Rain does 2 damage to everything, so that these trade. So we just traded... Hmm, maybe I wait on Twisted Fate. Usually I like playing it right away. Um, before we start drawing for the level up. Maybe I wait, especially with... Oh being able to get another powder keg and just the power of powder keg with red card blue card gold card that kind of stuff a foray into the field how exciting i'm always up for a round or two Cool. Hey, Jelly Nut. Yeah, I hope you're having a good Sunday as well.
interesting. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So I'm going blue card, get a second mana. I'm gonna have get excited discard suit up. Likely. We'll see what we draw. Yeah, we'll just discard the suit up. And kill this thing before they draw more cards. Getting that Brash Gambler out of here, very important. Yes, please. I'd like to kill Slotbot. Thank you. Yeah, shuffle my stats means that the power and the health, these two numbers, these two numbers get shuffled. So, like, currently, Slotbot is a 1 4. But now, as you can see, it's a 3 3. So, they added 1 to, to the 1 4. Uh, so, it's 6 total, and then shuffle those two of just kind of generate random numbers. Oh, it's turn eight. <laughs> Don't have to think too much when it's turn eight. You just play the Rex. Don't have to worry too much when it's turn eight. Where do you stand on cold shots? Wait a minute. Scratched. Yeah, Trundle. Trundle looks pretty strong as a champion. I think that Overwhelm and Regeneration are really good at keywords. And so I do think that the Trundle um, looks quite strong. We've Leave discarded, get excited, which is something that... Just something that kills Twisted Fate. Oh, Twisted Fate's just at 6, not at 7. Alive for a little bit. That's all right. This warning shot will kill them. We are doing it. We're just gonna get two powder kegs and kill them with the warning shot. Tried pretty hard. There's twice with the Brash Gambler though that I think they, they let me like stop that Brash Gambler from attacking. Like like they played they played the one mana one two first, and so then I got to goal card it. They should have just attacked. That was a little greedy, and then I think there was no, and then I guess I I don't remember exactly how, if they had another chance. Maybe they did, maybe it's just that one turn, but something I probably should have done. 
Okay, so we're playing the mirror match where they have Ezreal. Now... Uh, actually, I'm gonna keep that. Now, I wonder how this is gonna act out. I wonder if Ezreal will be better in the mirror or if it'll be easier to kill. I'm not sure. We'll kind of see. I, I could definitely see Riptide Rex just being like, the main card. Like, who has Riptide Rex wins kind of thing. Discarded. Um, discarded Static Shock. It's a good card. I kept Gangplank just because it's a it's a five five, and five fives are difficult to kill. That's basically why I kept Gangplank. There's plenty of killing left. Five fives not easy to kill. Okay, so if I, hmm, if I go gold card, then it'll mean make it rain can kill this thing. But if I go red card, then we have to use mystic shots, but the red card does help our gangplank go move towards leveling up, right? That, that's number two out of five. So I kind of want a red card. Yeah, basically it's just yeah, it's just the five five, so that's why I kept it. No, no gold cards are play. played one. All that glitters. I'm always up for a round or two. I don't really understand why you would draw a card there instead of just gold card. Sure, they're thinking, I guess because Mystic Shot kills this, but... It's like the card that they drew was a zero mana Mystic Shot. Don't you want a, a zero mana Mystic Shot? Just do this and save Make It Rain for Gangplank. Powder Keg. Thank you, Pockets. Thank you for that sub. Resub going for awesome months. Thank you, Pockets. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Pretty greedy. I will admit. The sunfrock got me good. Rewarded, kind of. Ooh, Yoro Grifter. I want Yoro Grifter. I 
neither the flames nor the depths complain. <clears throat> the Orb is awesome. Concerns is that they have Riptide Rex. I feel like that's what this game is just going to come down to, is just a bunch of Riptide Rexes. They go Thermo, we go three, we just Mystic Shot that and probably play Jagged Butcher, Attack for two. It's just a 2-2 Jagged Butcher. That'll still just you know, get us to 3 out of 5 with Gangplank. Definitely see just playing salvage this turn. Anything else? <laughs> Disappointing. Riptide Rex, I guess it's disappointing that we don't have really a good way to enable it. Don't Dang, I want that card. Those are the cards I want. Black Market Merchant and Yodel Grifter. So jealous. So we're getting Jagged Butcher and Dreadway Deckhand. Yuck. Darius is Noxus. We can't can't just add Darius in this deck. It's a different region. And Darius also costs six mana. I don't know why playing a Dar playing Darius in your deck wouldn't have people scoop on turn five. Next turn I can Mystic Shot upstairs and then cast Riptide Rex. For all. Their bones 
needs a splinter. Take it up with my friends. It's yours. Run while you can. You poor thing. So this Rex would do. Uh, would do what? Six damage to them? Put him down to six. They have the three fleeting cards they just got from the pick a card. Like if their if their plan is their own Riptide Rex, um, you know it's a lot of fleeting, it's a lot of cards that will just go away that were fleeting. My best draw is probably Warning Shot at this point. I am glad their Ezreal was at 7, not 8. Well, we got one play. Really glad they didn't play more units. This should be five damage on them. All right, there we go. So we won the Riptide Rex War. <laughs> Said that from, you know, turn from turn one. Um, that I felt like that game was just gonna evolve into um, who plays more Riptide Rexes. It's just gonna be the Riptide Rex game, and that's what it was. Game playing to help us helped us just get some damage in. To eat some removal, get some damage in. And then Riptide Rex finishes the job. Keep Grifter? Yeah, we'll keep Grifter. No. Not more four mana cards. Not <laughs> more four mana cards. Shouldn't have kept Grifter. Let's get like a petty officer. asking me to do stuff. Sorry. I had a spam comment on YouTube that I was just removing. <clears throat> Mole Grifter and Aggro matchup. Normally I would, but because I was keeping two other early removal spells, I felt I could keep it, if that makes sense. Like, if I, if it was like the only card in my hand, I wouldn't be keeping it. But since I already had things to do for the early turns... Approximately, I thought I could keep the the four mana card that I could curve into it. Kind of want to Mystic Shot this two two. Well, I'm gonna do that. Then I kind of want to Thermogenic Beam the two one, but that's not great with having Twisted Fate red cards and stuff like that. No, so I'll just keep Thermogenic Beam. That that's just gonna be my plan for next turn. Sure. That's fine. That'll be another card to red card away next turn. 
So, you know, we'll basically we, we'll get Ranger's Resolve and Flea Feather Tracker. Smell that? A fight to cook it. So we throw Giant Beam on turn three. Now, do they have another Ranger's Resolve? Hopefully not. I'm always up for a round or two. That's fine. Something for all. It's basically like they just Mystic Shot Twisted Fate. Eventually deal with that thing. Eventually. Yuck. Alright, Thermogenic Beam is that my card. Yuck. Never lost a fair game. Alright, so I'm gonna go red. Who says I don't share? Merchant Beam. I'll defend these forests to the end. Beam that thing for four? No, I steal cards. Good steal, good steal. Probably should have attacked. I wouldn't be too surprised if they have another Genevieve Elm Heart. I pretty much casting Yordle Grifter and Petty Officer this turn, especially the Yordle Grifter getting us the Warning Shot for Rex next turn. See Grifter finally coming in clutch. Took a minute, but finally he's coming in clutch. Hesitations to tell. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. You're prettier when you smile. Cool. Cool. Couple of good nab hits with Petty Officer and Cythria. Hold nothing back. Huh. Not supposed to fate. I guess because this is free because of the cause of that. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. You wanna take my sinister poro? A symbol worth fighting for. Yep. Their pride will cost them. Show them our medal! So still feeling good about this because of Riptide Rex. Feeling pretty good about this one. I'll just trade these things away. I mean, we don't have to... We don't have to worry about the late game. Double salvage. Like, we're winning the late game for sure against this kind of deck. Don't need to be worried about that. Love ya. Could block, you know, with the one one. Basically, the reason here to block to block here is that now only just one. You know, we just need one cannon barrage on each one of these to get rid of both of them. They are very important things to get rid of. Wow. 
but maybe we miss completely. Oh man, now I am not nearly as confident in winning. I thought one of the seven would hit misfortune. I am not nearly as confident in winning this game now. I was like 95% that we were winning that game before the Rex, and now I'm like 70% that we win the game. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like. Now I'm like 60% that we win this game. Dang. That was crazy. Heavy pockets, huh? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, that was a crazy Riptide Rex. Boys. Ten mana? If I lead with salvage, I have six left. Follow my lead. Huh. Now I'm like 40% we're winning this game. Maybe 30%. That dropped from like 95% to like 30%, basically because we didn't just kill this misfortune. shot no thermogenic beam nothing we just can't kill misfortune now I'm at like 25% this is as bad as could imagine They don't have any more Genevieve Elmhart to play all three. I guess that's good news. I guess. I don't have any more petty officers that played all three. Looks like this is lethal. I guess no, no, because I can block this thing. That's kind of a weird challenge. I guess they want to keep Genevieve Elmhart alive. I can now block Misfortune. But Misfortune has Overwhelm. It, that's actually probably lethal if I block Misfortune. I have to block this thing. Yeah, I gotta block Jagged Butcher. So basically, no matter how they challenge, um, I'm going down to two, and they're gonna have okay. So they're gonna they're gonna have misfortune plus one other or plus two no other regrets, units. No mercy. And so they get to choose like one of their three are gonna die, and so they're gonna have Genevieve Elmhart die. No problem with that. Scratched. Yeah, they could have their Jagged Butcher die instead of Genevieve Elmhart. Well. 
we have a very obvious thing to do. Hopefully it works. All that firepower for little old me. Okay, so Butcher's still staying alive. We killed Misfortune though, which is the thing that obviously we had to do. What do they got for those two last cards? You're covered. Ooh. My selection speaks for itself. Sweet. It's a good one. Gets another blocker out here. Demacian needs heroes. Okay, so if they attack all out, I am dead unless we find Mystic Shot. That our only, or Make It Rain could maybe get us there if we hit this thing with Make It Rain. Mystic Shot, Mystic Shot. No, we're dead. Man, that's... Another game where we just draw all these stupid Jagged Butchers and Dreadway Deckhands in the late game. Yeah, I shouldn't complain though. We got real lucky to hit the Petty Officer previous game that allowed us to, for the previous turn, hit the Petty Officer with the what am I saying? Hit the pool shark with the petty officer. That allowed us to get two cards to get us warning shot and riptide rex. There. But yeah, that was. We needed one of those seven. They had four total targets. We needed one of those seven to just hit misfortune, and that's a win. Like that's 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 all it was. If one of those seven of the first riptide rex hit misfortune, we we win that game. Even if. Even if we get real bad draws, like, we're still winning that game. That's all that game was. Any of these I want to keep? So always keep the fate. With the versatility. I didn't want more 4 plus cost cards, which is why I mulligan to... Yordle Grifter and Gangplank. My deck didn't really listen to me. There, so there's four total targets because you could target the Nexus and then there's three there's three units. If there's if there's only three targets, then you have a better chance. But yeah, another. So there's or no 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 Riptide Rex. I'm thinking Make It Rain. Sorry sorry. I was thinking about Make It Rain. How it could target the Nexus and stuff. Sorry no Riptide Rex doesn't hit the Nexus. So yes you're correct. There's only there was three total targets. Sorry I had the wrong card. So yes, there was three total targets, and we um, did a very poor job with those three targets. We needed one of the seven <laughs> to hit that other one, and we didn't. Okay. We're gonna go gold card, or I mean, powder keg, make it rain. Another 
value of coin. Do you want to trade three threes if they want to trade three threes? Over there. We have 10 cards, so we need to start unloading some cards. Wish I could play more unit than a one. They attack immediately, I'm blocking the 5-4, not the 5-2. I think. Could be Reckoning. Not the worst if it is rec reckoning. Only the finest serve. Ugh. That's kind of the worst. Yeah, there's, I mean, basically every single Twisted Fate deck is competitive. The question was, is there any competitive deck with Twisted Fate? I mean, oh, yeah, there's, I don't know, a dozen different competitive Twisted Fate decks. You can play Twisted Fate any way you want. Um, if you want, yeah, if you want a deck of just building to try to level up Twisted Fate, I'd be, you'd probably want to go with, uh, kind of like the casino, you want to play like the casino deck? With PNZ, where you have rummage and you have your discard draw things, probably going with that deck, um, where you don't you don't need to play Jinx if you want to play just Twisted Fate and nothing else, as far as champions go. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Okay. Who gets cost? So we were, what, what is that percentage there, Kordak? Our chances of not hitting that misfortune that last game and losing that game. I apologize to your parents. That looks like, I don't know, just ballparking what, like 12, 13, 14 percent, something like that? I don't know. Okay, you do two to the seven over three to the seven. So my biggest worry in this game is 
Maybe Captain Farron? Because this version with Cato and the 3 mana 5 4, they're usually Captain Farron. Farron. Let me take a nice huge hit. Definitely worried about that right now. So, yeah. Okay, so roughly 6%. So about 6% chance that we miss. Well, that's unfortunate. That would be great, though. It's kind of crazy they didn't play anything else after that, isn't it? They're just sitting on a bunch of harsh winds. We can do that again, or we could just go Yordle Grifter with... The problem with playing Yordle Grifter right now is I have I have a Frel Yord card on top of my deck. So my Yordle Grifter is going to miss if I play Yordle Grifter. So I probably shouldn't play Yordle Grifter. If I just go Warning Shot Rex, that does 7 damage and then puts them down to 5. Um, that's pretty close to me killing them. Oh, I rarely forget and never forget. It's the boss. Well, I'll just play Gameplay. I could have just gone Static Shock, draw one, draw the 5-5, five, five, play the 5-5, five, five, and then also play Yordle Grifter. Could have gone that route. Okay, so basically 16 out of 17 times we would have killed Misfortune there. That was a one time we didn't. That's too bad. Thing like I'm gonna win. Maybe. Not sure. So close to leveling up Gangplank. So close. They have a harsh winds. This is kind of rough. I wanted to get this thing down to one health to start, you know, so I can static shock it and kill it. They do have a harsh winds. Or just kind of. anyway. Holding. Are they just holding Brittle Steel or something? What have they been holding?
Well, that's scary. Line up. Yeah, they could be holding Brittle Steel, Culling Strike, Reckoning. I mean, if they had... I guess they could have Culling the right Strike my 5 and then dealt... No, because if they had Culling Strike, they would have... Yeah, definitely Culling Strike to the O5 and then dealt 5 damage to me with Sejuani with the Overwhelm after attacking the previous turn. At least that's what they should... I'm done. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Water is mine and mine alone. Okay, hopefully this is four damage. With static shock, warning shot, warning shot, and powder keg. Show me a target. We would lead with Take it up with my friends. Lead with static shock. So that if they if they try to kill Powder Keg in response, then we you know we have the warning shots that can do two damage. Okay, Fury of the North. So should be GG's. Cool. Even if they had might for overwhelm, you know, would have killed them first. Get yours. You die slow. I won't stop coming for those who wronged me. All right, three and two with plunder control. If you like Riptide Rex, <laughs> this is the deck for you. And Riptide Rex is pretty amazing. Definitely won us a lot of games. We had the one game in there, you know, really could have been a 4-1 if we would have had, um, you know, 16 out of 17 games would have had that win and it would have been a 4-1. Um, but yeah, I think this one's pretty strong. It is... Uh, Dreadway Deckhand, Jagged Butcher, those cards kind of looked a little weak, especially how we were drawing them later in the game. I guess we're supposed to have those early in the game and not late in the game. We're drawing them late in the game. Our early hands, like, even after our mulligans, it was just always Twisted Fate, Yordle Grifter, and Riptide Rex, right? Like, that's that's what our hands were all the time, so we were just, like, sitting there waiting until turn four before we played anything. Basically every game, even though we have, like, these other units to play early on, just never did that. All right, there's Plunder Control. Good deck. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hope you've had a uh, fun Rank Up Sunday. Uh, we've had a good stream here today. We're going to have Meme Tier Monday tomorrow. Hope y'all uh, come on back for that. But thank you so much for watching some Plunder Control, and I'll see you for the next video.